The best way to reduce global warming is, without any doubt, cutting down our anthropogenic emissions of greenhouse gases. Now, but the world economy is addicted to energy, which is mainly produced by, you know what, fossil fuels. And as economic growth and increasing world population require more and more energy, we cannot stop using fossil fuels quickly, at least not in a short term. And in desperation to stop global warming, scientists are now looking at various ways of geoengineering to curb the rising crisis. Now let's start with space mirrors. What are these? You see, space mirrors, they're firing trillions of tiny aluminium mirrors into space deflects sunlight. These help control maximum radiation emitted from the sun, reducing the effect of greenhouse gas emissions. Second is cloud seeding which is essentially spraying seawater into clouds to precipitate rain. That is essentially what you're trying to do. It is a type of weather modification that aims to change the amount or type of precipitation that falls from clouds by dispersing substances into the air that serve as cloud condensation. Next is engineered microbes. Now, what are these? Microbial genetic engineering uses genetic operation tools to share, splice and integrate the target genes and then introduce them into chassis cells. Now, in common words, scientists create synthetic microbes and engineered algae to sequester carbon dioxide. Next, we of course talk about ocean fertilization. Now, ocean fertilization is essentially adding iron or nitrogen to the oceans to promote carbon sequester sequestration by phytoplankton. Now, ocean fertilization or ocean nourishment is a type of technology for carbon dioxide removal from the oceans and to restore plant nutrients. Next up is enhanced weathering. Let's take a look at that. Enhanced weathering is a process that aims to accelerate the natural weathering by spreading finely ground silicate rock such as basalt onto surfaces which speed up chemical reactions between rocks water and air another valuable concept to curb emissions is biochar which we talk about next now biochar is the lightweight black residue made of carbon and ashes produced from plant matter the component is stored in the soil as a means of removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and second to last is artificial trees Artificial trees or mechanical trees are vertical columns of discs coated with a chemical resin, which when air blows absorbs carbon dioxide from the discs. Now these discs then sink in the barrel below and release carbon dioxide in a closed environment. Lastly, we have climate resilient crops. What are these? Now, if crops don't adapt to climate change, neither will agriculture and neither will we. The concept introduces creating paler crops to reflect light and increase the use of crops that are drought resistant. And these are climate ready crops, which we are of course talking about. Now, while using engineering technologies to combat the climate crisis, a welcome solution, more needs to be done. And this is what experts say. Eventually, after global emissions hit net zero and enough carbon is removed, the world could stop using Go geoengineering without global temperatures shooting back up. However, it remains uncertain how long it would take to reach that point.